Right, we're going to test the drone with no holes in the arms first. Before we get cracking, uh, I would like to say that I think Chris Ross's video is kind of sensationalising the issue a little bit. Uh, the Sicario that I have with holes in the arms flies really, really well. You know, it's a solid airframe and the advantages that you get from having the arms in this orientation far outweigh the disadvantages in my opinion. With that said, let's see what this one's like. That's the first couple of flights done with the uh, Sicario with no holes in the arms. I was just about to test the other one and it started raining so I'm hiding under a tree for a moment. All rigged up and ready to go for the comparison. I'm going to do the same uh, extended throttle ramps, three of them. The tune that I'm running on these is actually one that I've been working on with Brian White. It's not finished and it's not as aggressive as the tune which I normally run on these. He's the developer of PID Toolbox so go and check out his channel. He's got a really interesting method for tuning pretty much any drone. Uh, I mean, it takes into account the limitations of using trilling as an indication of the top end of your D-term, which is a big issue when you're tuning the cine lifters. And there'll be more about that method on my channel as well, so uh, hit the like and the subscribe, that'd be much appreciated. Here is the motor noise on roll. This is with the solid arms. Um, and as you can see down the bottom here, there's some good throttle activity. Uh, if people are showing noise profiles and the whole thing looks like this and it's just got little blips in it, then it's not really a very good indication of what is actually going on. So here, you know, you can see that I've been pushing it to full throttle for extended periods. Um, and then I've also got up the same plot but for the Sicario with the holes in the arms and I will show you that now. There we go. So that is with the holes and with the stainless steel struts which I have on mine. Obviously these tests aren't fully scientific, I can't fly both drones in exactly the same manner. Um, and there is certainly some improvements. That's the solid arms, that's the one with holes. Um, to be honest, what I was really hoping for was something that looked a little bit more like this. So that's the uh, solid arms and then that's the Sicario with holes. Uh, this is the pitch axis. And what I was really hoping for is this on roll. That was kind of what I was expecting might happen um, and it really hasn't and I think the issue here is just that the motors are so powerful on this drone and there's so little on the roll axis because um, all of the weight is along the length of the drone uh, the battery the camera everything's kind of distributed along the pitch axis so this noise that we're seeing in the roll axis here this isn't actually a failing of the frame. I think this is just uh, a result of it being easier for the electronics to move the drone along the roll axis. So I don't think there's any improvements that we can make to the frame that are going to reduce this. You, the only thing you could do is kind of distribute the battery weight along the roll. Um, but then that's part of what gives the Sicario its fantastic properties when it's flying because it is so light on the roll it does keep it very very maneuverable. Another thing which is interesting there's a little resonance peak here which could be something to do with the D-term and the filtering but I don't think it is because the filtering is fairly relaxed and the D-term isn't that high and you'll notice that that isn't there with the solid arms um, and if you have a look at the D-term here that spike there, bear in mind these have got exactly the same tune on both of these drones that is just simply not there really with the solid arms. There's actually arguably more noise, but that peak in the D-term is, is reduced. So in a nutshell, I don't think it's worth replacing the arms on the 
Sicarios, the noise profile didn't change as drastically as I was hoping it would. And I think that is because all the weight of the drone is distributed along the pitch axis. Um, and that is part of what gives it its fantastic flying characteristics, the fact that it is really light on roll. It's just unfortunate that the motors have got so much power that they can kind of actuate that axis quite easily. Thank you to Andy Shen and to Chris Rosser for their efforts on this. Until next time.